Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. I'm so excited to be talking about this movie. I have posted trailer reviews and speculation videos. Now the time has come for me to review the final cut. I am the Ranting Usher. I am one with the Force, and the Force is with me. Let me talk you to your seat. I want you to know up front, there will be spoilers in my video. You've been forewarned. Rogue One is the first Star Wars movie ever to open without a crawl. Clearly, this is Disney's way of differentiating the spin-offs from the other episodic films. This may confuse general audiences since the saga is once again breaching sequential order. Members of the Star Wars demographic may have split feelings about Disney deviating from a traditional beginning. I am anticipating that future spin-offs will open without a crawl. For some, this may take some getting used to. The change doesn't bother me. I am fine with it either way. Rogue One is quite possibly the darkest installment in the Star Wars franchise since The Empire Strikes Back. The opening crawl for Episode 5 says it is a dark time for the Rebellion. That single line could potentially encompass more than the events of just one Star Wars film. Everything about this spin-off oozes a somber and gritty vibe. From the tension, the character interactions, character conflict, action sequences, and casualties, director Gareth Edwards captures the essence of a true war film. With her father, Galen, torn away from her to begin working on the Imperial Death Star, and her mother, Lyra, killed right in front of her, these tragedies shape Jen Erso perfectly. She's a jaded character. She has issues. Felicity Jones reflects this extremely well with her performance. When Jen Erso receives the hologram message from her father, and she has to take in everything Galen has to tell her about the Death Star at once, the information causes her to lower her facade and become vulnerable. I can't help but care about her. Her reaction is almost the equivalent of Luke Skywalker learning that Darth Vader is his father. Rather than break down entirely, Jin Erso becomes empowered to aid the Rebellion, and that makes her endearing and admirable. A true Star Wars hero. I am with her all the way. Some of the other characters have admirable traits as well. Baze and Chirrut have a strong friendship and both are great warriors. They know how to kick ass. K2SO supplies much needed comic relief with his quips and one-liners. Orson Krennic, well, he just bitches a lot. Unfortunately, all these characters have going for them is their traits. They don't get nearly the depth or development they deserve. Although they may not be developed very well, I still enjoy seeing these characters in action. So, in the interest of preserving a reasonable length, I decided to divide my review into two videos. So be sure to come back next week when I review dialogue in the trailer as opposed to dialogue spoken in the actual film, CGI, motion stop characters, and of course, Darth Vader. How do you feel about what I've said so far? Do you like that the film begins without a crawl, or do you prefer a traditional opening? How do you feel about how dark Rogue One is? 
compared to The Empire Strikes Back. Do you think that the setup for Jin Erso's character is sufficient? How do you feel about the lack of development for the other characters? Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments down below. You are also welcome to share, or if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to my channel for reviews of movies, both new and old, trailers, TV shows. I also do tributes, countdowns, and speculations. But thanks again for watching. May the Force be with you, and I'll see you next time. One more thing. Happy Holidays from the Ranting Usher. Please take care and stay safe.